Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And you know what we haven't had in a while? A humble bundle for game developers. So the good news is, today we don't have one. We have two. Uh, we have one for Unreal Engine developers, and the other one is for Unity developers. But as you will know, you can actually get these things into a multitude of different game engines. I have documentation on how to do all of that. So moving from Unreal to Unity, Unity to Unreal, Unreal to Godot, Godot to Unity, etc., 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 all documented down below. So if you want to see how to do that, you can see it there. So the first one we got here is the Unreal Engine Essentials Reloaded. That reloaded part is very important uh, because that means that some of these were definitely featured in a previous Humble Bundle. Make sure you don't already own the assets you are interested in uh, before picking this one up. The other one here is the Fantasy Realms Bundle for Dragon Song Studios. This one is the Unity Bundle, and we'll go through the details of both. But let's start off with a quick hands-on. Uh, with We'll do uh, the Unreal Apocalypse first. I think this is visually the most impressive of the bundles. Here you can see there's only one asset environment in this bundle, which I find disappointing. I love assets uh, that are environments like this one. Uh, it's a 1930 style office environment you can just get an idea of the quality of their work available over here so here we go into it you can see all of the uh the stuff that makes up this world and we got a bar going on down here let's go on upstairs Ooh, got some uh some blurring going on here again different rooms we got some drafting going on i'm not exactly sure what this building is all about because we got a weird assortment of things going on here uh, but again, an idea of what this world is capable of. And let's go upstairs, and here is the record room. So gives you an idea of what this environment is all about. By the way, as I mentioned earlier on, you can get these into uh, different game edges. Here it is, exported out to Godot, uh, just as 1K textures in this point in time. As you get an idea, you can get pretty close. You're going to have to do some work. You're going to have to tweak the lighting, etc. Maybe fix a couple of textures. But it, you could get a really nice working asset in a variety of different game engines. Again, the documentation for how to do this is available down below. But as you see, uh, yep, you can get it into other engines. And really, all I did to do this one is just exported the level. So very straightforward in that regard. Again, the lighting and the, the camera setup in this one is much, much prettier. And then we have the empty room of death. And then we have kind of a, an atrium on top of everything there. So that is Unfortunately, again, the only environmental asset bundle in this bundle. I, I do love environment assets personally. Let me know what you think, what your favorite ones are in the comments down below. So that is one of these assets here. Now, moving on, we have a couple of other things going on in this particular bundle. We have things like animations. So here, let's just go check some of these out. These are just straightforward uh, animations for a drunk character. So here is a drunk man dying. There you go. He had his final drink. Uh, so yeah, that's one of the animations in place here. Uh, we got a, a plethora here. So let's say uh, attacking idol. Let's just do one of his idol animations. There you can see. So if you've got a drunk character in your world, uh, you got animations for that. There's a variety of animations in this particular pack. The uh, way these work, by the way, they're all redemptions on the Unity Asset Store. So it's, it's as if you bought them directly from the Epic Marketplace yourself, uh, which is kind of cool. We got a couple other things going on here as well. Uh, we have an NPC. His name is Mike. So of course, I'm going to show you this one. Uh, let's go into the Mike map over here. And let's just show the demo of Mike. So you can see the high quality of these. So here is Mike. And let's uh, go, go away, bun. Go away. Go away. There we go. So there is high resolution Mike. You get an idea of what he's capable of. And then we'll go over here. Here is Mike animated like so. So this is uh, all of the various different animations that Mike has available. Now, you will find that's kind of one of the downsides. So we got, we got a lot of things going on here. We got running Mike's, crawling Mike's, jumping Mike's, idle Mike's, happy Mike's, sad Mike's, and so on. Uh, so that is one of the characters and all the animations available for it. Now, these things also have full animation rigs. And this actually gets even more impressive when you come to uh, one of the other assets here. For example, uh, there is a cop car. Let me just find the cop car here. Weapons, modular vehicles, demo. No, no, map. Levels, police car. So here, I'll show you the car itself. So you can see a police car. And it's... Uh, Pretty cool and heavily procedural. So I can actually select this guy. And then what you're gonna notice here is from, I selected the smoke, let me find the police car here. Uh, police car, police car. 
Okay, there it is. Uh, with this guy, you've got a number of different configs. So you can have like foliage, debris, you can have the, the vines growing on it, you can have it destroyed, or you can have it completely not destroyed. And there's actually full blueprints in here for making these drivable. Now, one of the downsides is I'm demonstrating this using um, Unreal Engine 5.3, and Unreal Engine 5.3 broke the character controller for everything, which is annoying. But as you can see here, you can get a huge variety of things going on with this one. Uh, so you can randomize everything, get all kinds of different, Ooh, I broke my texture, so, uh, all kinds of different versions of it. It's, it's an impressive pack. All of their stuff has a ton of content. Unfortunately, that change with the Unreal Engine, uh, default controller, that's a little annoying for sure. So let's go over here, take a look at one last one. And this is the, uh, the weapons pack. And the weapons pack is, well, it's a variety of weapons. So if you need like crossbows or hunting rifles, or, uh, even like shoulder mounted rocket launchers, uh, and so on, some submachine guns, some machine pistols, and then various accoutrements like scopes and silencers and bayonets and uh, stocks and so on, all available in this particular pack. Very much a nice pack in that regard. Let's head on over now to the Unity side of the equation. And Unity is, it's pretty straightforward. It's a bunch of characters uh, in different genres, fantasy styles. So uh, this particular case, by the way, these redeem uh, a single product key. Uh, you redeem it on the uh, Unreal Engine store, sorry, on the Unity store. Uh, and then these were just like you bought them on the Unity asset store. So you got male and female base meshes, and then like a ton of armor sets, like an absolute ton of armor sets. So here, for example, uh, prefabs, you got all these pre-made orc versions right there. But if we go into male, FBX, you're going to find uh, just a variety of different armor sets. So this is the uh, Orc set, and then the other one here is the Elf set. So let's load up the Elf set here. And this one is very similar, uh, but in this particular case, it is Elves. Uh, they are not animated, but they are rigged. So if you want to, uh, again, you got your base, male, female, multiple different hairstyles for each. And then we have a wide variety of um, asset packs going on. Something's just chugging away at my computer. And it is system. So Windows is being stupid. Great. Uh, anyways, let's just keep going. Uh, so any of the performance you're seeing, that's down to my computer, uh, not actually the packs that you see here. They all perform quite well. So over here, you see, again, a variety of different armor sets for uh, the various different base meshes. And then again, different hairstyles, etc. kind of mix and match, put them together to create a wide variety of characters. So those are the two uh, main sets of assets here. Uh, the first pack here is the Unreal Engine Apocalypse, so the Unreal Apocalypse Essentials Reloaded. Again, be careful of that reloaded. It means it has happened before. Uh, you're getting 40 items for 25 bucks USD. If you don't know how this works in Humble Bundle, you get a collection of stuff uh, organized into tiers. Hot, buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all the stuff below that. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do. And thank you so much if you do to help support Game From Scratch. So again, we saw these two in action here. A bunch more animations. This is the environment pack we saw in action here. You're also getting a number of music packs. These music packs, by the way, are downloadable from Humble directly. Uh, everything else is available as a redemption key. The one thing that's annoying with Epic Games Store is you have to, you have to redeem them one by one. So it is a bit of a process for sure. Uh, but the full fat pack, you're getting quite a bit of stuff. At the uh, base pack, you're getting a number of music packs and then just some, uh, so you get those drunk animations if you want, and uh, procedural car here. You're actually getting a lot at the $1 tier here. Uh, jump up to the median tier here. You're getting a, a number of zombies like a lot of zombies, crawling zombies, fat zombies, uh, skinny zombies, um, and uh, soldier zombies, and so on. Again, they're all um, animated, a ton of variations. There's blueprints controlling them, so if you need to have, uh, you know, a horde of zombies in your game, you can generate a number of them procedurally at runtime. Uh, and then we go to the top tier. You got the book generator, you got a couple of characters, you got some more animation sets, a couple more music packs, a couple more characters, a couple more animation packs. And yeah, that's it. So if you're looking to create a zombie survival type game or military game, it could be a good pickup for you. Again, do be careful that you don't already own the assets in question, so check your library first. Uh, and then the other one, again, is the Fantasy Realms bundle. This is from Dragon Sun Studio. They make the uh, Ultasim Ulti MMO kit, I believe it is. Uh, but as you can see here, by the way, you can get a 90% discount for their stuff. And uh, then you get the elves, the humans, the... Uh, Uma NPC packs, basically humans. Uh, and then you get a bunch of skill and icon stuff. Nobody cares about icons anymore. I actually kind of wish they'd just take this stuff out. If anything that like chat GPT ruined the market for, it's icon sets. But you're getting a number of different icon sets here. But really what you're in this one for is the characters. So you've got goblins, ogres, orcs, dwarves, uh, humans, 
and then human warriors, and then elves, and then you get a 90% discount off of their actual store. And again, these things all redeem on the Epic Game Store. Any, oh, sorry, on the <laughs> Unreal, as the Unity Store. Blah, 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 blah. This is the downside of having two models launched at the same time. And as you can see, uh, you could drill down and find out more details about any of these on the uh, uh, the store itself. So these are all basically, like you can see here, open and unity. It is redeemed on the store, and it is basically mine to keep forever. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Two humble bundles. Let me know, are any of them interesting to you? We've got the Unreal Engine uh, Apocalypse Essentials Reloaded Pack. Again, a collection of 40 assets for Unreal Engine. And then we have the Fantasy Realms Dragon Sun Studios Pack. Uh, and this one is for Unity. Again, you can get these into other engines. You, of course, do lose things. You lose any of the programmed logic. Any of the stuff that was written in C Sharp or Blueprints isn't going to transfer over. Uh, and you're going to have to do some massaging to make things work. But uh, as we saw, you can get these out into other engines uh, and they can look uh, pretty good but do expect you are going to be doing additional work to get them working ideally and of course if you're working in uh, Unity and you buy an asset for Unity it's just like if you bought it off the asset store it's the exact same thing when you're dealing with uh, on the Unreal Engine side it's as if you bought it right from the Epic Games Marketplace so that's pretty cool let me know what you think of these two bundles overall and I will talk to you all later goodbye